All right, here we go. 2020 Gold Label Baseball 16 box case break. Um, these are your teams. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Good luck to you. I don't know probably right uh what's the kid's name dubon and then uh abram toro or abraham toro i always want to call him abram or something like he's i don't know where you would be from if that was your name but geography is not my forte Ironically, unless you're talking about Game of Thrones, and then I'll tell you where everything is. <laughs> My guy on the box. No, I didn't read the books. I did read two of them, but they weren't the, um, from the series. They were like sub books. And then I spent too much time actually um, kind of studying the map. Pondering and thinking about the unseen parts of the world. Yes, that would be really good, actually. How was it? I was I was gonna listen to that one, but I was I hadn't listened for a long time, um, so I missed a bunch of stuff. And I was going back and looking at the the cool ones or the the ones that I thought would be interesting that I had missed. How was it? What'd they talk about? Anything cool? Aliens? They talk about spy stuff? Well, I guess they're not spies.
homeschooling. A lot of coffee talk, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. So right now I'm listening to the one with Sam Harris. Uh, I don't know how to look at my what I've listened to history. Did the one with Keith Campbell, the narcissist expert. Um, Graham Hancock and some other dude. Secret history of religion. Yeah, I listened to one today. It was uh, it was the guy that does the Black Files Declassified show. Oh, I can't remember his name. Um, I did Douglas Murray, Lex Friedman. Um, I got about a quarter of the way through the newest Ed Snowden one. Quarter of the way through the Mike Tyson one. Quarter of the way, through, not even a quarter. About 20 minutes into the Miley Cyrus one. And I was like, eh, I can't. I can't. The voice. Mm, I'm not feeling it. Mike Baker, that was the guy. The CIA guy today. Andrew Huberman. Neuroscientist. Did Russell Peters. James Lindsay, mathematician. That one was kind of cool. Brett Weinstein and his brother. I did those. Man, those guys are fired up. Remember the guy at the college? Uh, that everybody, um, Ben Shapiro is, uh, quite, I guess, I don't know how to describe him. I want to describe him as polarizing, but, uh, when you really listen to it, he's got a good explanation for the things that he says. And he does a good job of explaining why he believes that. I think that's cool. He's got a reason. Like, it's not bullshit. Yeah. Because um, what is it? It's Eric, Eric Weinstein. He's the big one, right? And then the, the professor guy, that's his brother, who was supposed to be big until the... Uh, 
Nobel Prize winner stole his glory. Yeah, I went and I listened to the uh, Eric's with Andrew Yang. That was pretty good. Brett's super boring. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. You're going to study telomeres and mice. Like, you're probably a pretty boring human being. <laughs> like, it just... If that's what you devoted your life to, it's going to be hard to relate to other people, I think. Or communicate at a average person's level. Jesus. Yeah. Wasn't the mom and dad something really big, too? Did you listen to the last uh, Eric Weinstein one? Where he's like, yeah, I uh, I figured something out a long time ago and I've never told anybody. But uh, I've discovered another dimension. Not just one, but 14 and it equals two. I'm like, what? The multi-dimensional multi spider-verse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, sure. It sounds believable. I, I have no reason to not believe it. I like the... Uh, he made uh, an analogy with symmetry of the body. Like, if you're looking at your hand... None of it matches up. Like this one's almost as big as this one. It just doesn't make sense. And But when you put them together, they all form perfectly. And there's the universe that we know and the universe that we don't know. And put them together and it makes something pretty good. Really? Mine is, was, into it pretty hardcore. He's going to be Miles Morales for Halloween again. Is it really? I haven't even watched it. I was like, oh, cartoon. No, I'm, I'm all right. I mean, I've seen bits and pieces and. Never kind of watched it all together. <laughs> all right, I'll try to find it tonight. doing what I paid you to do and go watch a kid's movie. Is this a setup? No, I took it off of Disney Plus. Oh yeah, that's right because it's Spider-Man. 
and uh, Marvel's with Disney and Spider-Man's with whatever and they got divorced or something separated yeah Sony that's right how the fuck Sony get the rights to Spider-Man how do you let that happen Sony Like, when they first got started, their movies weren't really all that big. Like, the first couple. Hmm. I never thought of that. What do you think about uh, the new Black Widow movie coming out? I mean, this. I guess people are going to the theater to watch movies and stuff. I don't know if they're going to release it during all of this or what, but. You won't watch the Black Widow one? You don't like the story? You don't like Black Widow? A Scarlett Johansson fan. Um, what's that called? Um, I, I've seen a couple of the trailers. Uh, Joe Hero or Average something. Nah. No, nah, it's some movie where, that hasn't come out yet. It's like on an endless loop in like a computer generated world or something. That everyone's a bad guy. Free guy. Yeah. Yeah. Look it up. It looks terrible, but it's Ryan Reynolds, so that'll be fun. Kind of like Deadpool 2. You still like it. It wasn't very good. Truman Show and Fortnite. That's a good description. All right, let's look at some cards. The hard thing about Gold Label is every card's like the same until you get to the frame. And there might be like 12 variation or 12 serial numbered cards. Like, there's one. Strasbourg to 50. Nationals. Justin Dunn. Seattle. Jeffy O. To 50, Robel Garcia. Show hate at ninety nine. Keen on 
rookie. Uh, Bobby Bradley to 75. Yeah, uh, class one, two, and three. I don't know. I didn't look at the pack odds, but I think that number three is not that short printed. I think there's one. There's one. Some of them are black and some of them are normal. So maybe it's a variation, black border. I can't remember doing gold label last year. Maybe I didn't. And that's all why I only got one case. Robbie Cano to 75. Dustin May batting Dodgers Donnie Baseball Aaron Judge to 50 class 2 Lindor to 150. Aaron Hicks. Yankees. Race sports cards, the Yankees. They look better than last year. Or, uh, How many years have we been doing gold label now? 2016? Sean Murphy? I think these are the best the base cards have been. Or I don't even know if you call them base cards. The normal cards. Juan Soto to 99. Logan Webb, add that to your counter. Ken Griffey Jr. What were we counting? Uh, who in the Giants hits? Astros and Giants. That's right. Only got one. Kershaw to 75. 
Oh, it's definitely got to be like two and a half. Kyle Lewis, Anthony K. Christian Yelich to one fifty. Max Kepler. Yeah. I like it. Lindor to 99. Don Mattingly to 150. Pete Alonzo to 25. Mandy Metz. Nice one. Uh, Robo Garcia to 25. This could be a fun Remo to chase if they would put the card stock back like it used to be. I don't know why they wouldn't. Why wouldn't you? Uh, Yoshi to 75. Dubon to 75. We're at two. Up that current count. You got six left to hit the two and a half. You going over or under? I feel like a bookie. Javier Baez to 150. Going over. A keynote at 25. That's nice. Reds. Race sports cards. Kettle Marte to seventy five. Ho. Oh. Jose Canseco, Oakland. Most town.
I wonder if he was always crazy. Probably, right? Like if you start uh, being all juiced up, you're probably already kind of not all the way there, right? Keston Hira to 99. Zach Gallon to one fifty. A relic. Bobby Bradley again. Like a frame relic. I can see three frames left. Chipper, 150. Oh, that's right. Let's get one of those. Keston Hira. I was thinking just like a corny little cutout one, but something cool in the frame would be great. Brew Crew, Weebo. Every time I fall for it. Matt Thais, can you stop being a rookie already? God. Angels. <laughs> uh, Brian Lilly with the not Mike Trout auto. <laughs> Every time. Makes my heart skip a beat. Yes. No. Poor guy. There's a relic. Uh, yes, yeah, the 50. Boston. Jeff. Not Jeff Yo, just Jeff. Jose Altuve to 50. I know, but you see the Angels, and you see a guy in similar stature, and you see an M and a T, and you get excited, and you kind of lose, you know, you get excited. You're like, yes, this could be it. And Jordan Yamamoto. All right. Under hits. Let's do a little recap. We had one relic. It was Carl Yastrzemski, 21 out of 50. <laughs> because it makes Brian too excited. Uh, the red ones are to 50. Jose Altuve, the blue. Uh, actually, they're all numbered differently. Uh, Hira, 99. Gallon, 150. Chipper. Javier Baez, Kettle Marte to 75, uh, Robo Garcia to 25, Yoshi to 75, Lindor 99. It's cool how the Indians is like foily. 
Uh, Don Mattingly to 150. Clayton Kershaw to 75. Christian Yelich to 150. Juan Soto, 99. Aaron Judge to 50. Robbie Canoe to 75. Evo, you are welcome, sir. Francisco Lindor to 150. Thank you. If you guys are taking off, I think the other ones might be a rough fill for tonight. Shohei to 99. Strasburg to 50. Garcia to 50. And then we had Dubon to 75. Logan Webb. Yamamoto. Matt Theis. Yeah, I'm sorry. I got to get some more. Uh, stock up. Keston Hira. Bobby Bradley. Jose Canseco. Aquino to 25. Pete Alonzo to 25. Max Kepler, Anthony K, Bobby Bradley to 75, Aaron Hicks, Sean Murphy, Dustin May, Justin Dunn. And that is it. That is it on this one. Thank you, everybody, very much. I appreciate it. We'll see you all tomorrow or later on another time. I hope. I'm bad at goodbyes. <laughs>